express how big you are Lord we can't put the words together to show how mighty you are nor the phrases to construct to describe your holiness nor the sentences to put together to describe how great and mighty you are oh Lord what a mighty God you are oh God this afternoon we come to extol to magnify and to praise your holy name and we gather Lord once more oh God to hear your word to fellowship with you and to renew our minds and strength, Lord. To help us, Lord, get closer to you. May this, Lord, be an answered prayer for us this afternoon. May you come and bless the service and bless our offerings. And lead us through in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we be seated? That's a song request from uh, Brother Israel. Let's give him a hand up. Let's give him Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. In the house of God, there's liberty. Amen. Amen. And there's no friend like Jesus. That's a song I want to sing to thank my maker. Amen.
have a friend, hymn number 1002, I am happy today. I am happy today, I am happy today, oh in Jesus my Lord, I am happy, oh in baby Lord, I sing some way, and that's why I am happy. Oh, are you happy? I'm so happy, happy today. Oh, he just says, my Lord, I am happy because he paid it all. Last season, oh, I just swear I'm happy. Oh, are you happy? I'm so happy. I Tell you why, because I see some Oh, and when I'm the best of best, who asks me when you are? I see.
blood on snow. Blessed be the fountain of blood. Oh, to a well of sinners to be. Oh, and blessed be the dear son of God. Oh, back in Swamp, I see ya. No, I'm wondering, no, I don't remember from this war. Oh, I'll bring them to my heart. They know what, oh, oh, oh. I'm speaking of blood on the land.
have been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun. We have no less days to sing God's praise than when we first began. Because there will be no beginning and there will be no ending there. It will be an eternal day, one eternal day. Just praising the Lord. Just talking about his amazing grace. That saved wretched people as we are. We thank God that that grace still abounds today. And that grace is still our portion today. So God bless you for coming for the afternoon service. We thank God for the service in the morning. Talking about who is God and what is his image. Hallelujah. How great he is and yet how humble he becomes. If there's a message about that you want to go listen to and read Go to the message, God hiding himself in simplicity and revealing himself in the same. And the prophet said that is how people miss him. Because he's such a great God. And so in, the, in our human mind, we, we have a way we look at greatness. And so when we talk about that omnipotent God, when we talk about that omniscient God, when we talk about an infinite God, when we talk about a God Almighty, in our human mind, oh, we picture something else. But because he's so great, he's able to condescend to come so low. And because of that, many miss him by the way he revealed himself. My prayer is that we will not be seen because he has revealed himself in simplicity. And even that's the reason why many miss this message of the hour. That is the reason many miss this message of the hour. Because the messenger hasn't got doctor of divinity. His drama is all over the place. Hallelujah. He talks about notes instead of new. Words instead of where. But that is all right. God is hidden in simplicity. And we love the English of the prophets. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. That is how God wrapped himself in this our day. I remember when we were in high school, one of the things they had against this message is that when you take any Christian literature and you read a Christian literature, it helps you to improve your grammar. It helps you to improve your English language. Oh, by the message books, oh, when you tend to read it, the English is all over the place. I remember the first time I took the Hebrew book from my father's bookshop. And I was reading it. I didn't get a head and tail of it. So I put it aside. Because it was not yet time. <laughs> I was getting ahead of time. It was not yet God's time. So when I started reading it, and what kind of book is this? So I put it somewhere else. Oh, by God's own time. By God's own time. Oh, when I took another book, that not one ones at the end time. Recognizing your dear this and when I started reading in God's own time, the English didn't even bother me. God knows how to get each and every one of his children. 
So we thank God to be here today. Our God is a God of simplicity. Hallelujah, that's the way he is. And if we are coming to worship him, we must also learn to be simple. You, you cannot come and worship the simple God and think yourself more highly. If we are here to worship the simple God, we must learn to be simple in the things that we do. And that is the God that we serve. A great eternal spirit, a self-existing one, an omnipotent God, an omniscient God, an omnipresent God. Oh Lord God Almighty, but in the midst of all of that, he so humbled himself until when he walked the streets of he walked the streets of Nazareth. They could not even recognize him. Oh, God help us to humble ourselves. Humble yourself in the presence of God. The Bible says, and in his own time, he will lift you up. So the Lord bless you as we turn to the scripture. Genesis chapter 1, reading 26 to 28. And then we read Genesis chapter 2, verse 19. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 1, 26 to 28. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over the earth, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created my his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. He took a prophet <inaudible> to cause us to understand this verse. What it means that like male and female created he them. <inaudible> Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. And God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over all, over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over every creeping thing that moveth upon the earth. Genesis chapter 2 verse 19. And out of the ground of the earth, and out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field, and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam to see what he will call them. What an interesting thing. God created all things, and yet he brought them to Adam to see how Adam will call them. Because when he has finished creating all of it, he made Adam to be in charge. Adam, you are responsible for all of this creation. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So he brought them to the master. Adam. The master of the earth, the, 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 the small god of the earth, to see how he will call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Amen. God didn't say, No, Adam, no, 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 I don't like this. Name. Oh, I, I don't like that one. But whatever Adam said, whatever Adam called it, the Bible said, God said, Amen. To you me. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, for the reading of your word. We bless your holy name. Even as we come to this afternoon session, we commit ourselves into your hands. May you come take down the bread of life and feed our hungry souls this afternoon. We pray this and we ask this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Shall I be seated? So once again, God bless you. 
And we appreciate you for being in the service this afternoon. Those of you that were able to make it in the morning service, God bless you for staying on for the afternoon service. It's always good to be in the house of the Lord. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let's go to the house of the Lord. And I trust that you are glad to be here this afternoon as well. As we continue, hallelujah, with the Easter services. So we thank God for what we spoke about this morning. Who is God and what is his image? Oh, hallelujah. Men would like to portray some wonderful image about themselves. But when God projected his image, Isaiah said that we did not even desire him. There was no beauty in him, so we did not desire him. What a God that he is. And this afternoon, we want to look at the first man in the image of God. Because God made man his image. But since creation, hallelujah, things have gone in, in a different direction. But it's all working together for the good of the living God. And and for the the good good of those of us that worship the Lord. So this afternoon, we want to look at the first man in the image of God. Hallelujah. Praise him. Because that is what we are being redeemed to. That is what he's buying us back to. That is what all this restoration message is about. Taking us back to what we used to be. Amen and amen. amen. So in the beginning, like we read, God made man in his own image. And we read from the scriptures in John chapter 4 and verse 24 that God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So God, like this morning we saw, and this morning we talk about, is that self-existing one. Oh, that great powerful spirit that was by himself alone. But in the course of time, in the process of time, he revealed himself to the human race. But when God made man, at the beginning, he made him in his image. And so if God is spirit, then the prophet taught us by the scriptures that the first man was a spirit being. Because after Genesis chapter 1, after God has made man his own image, yet we go in Genesis chapter 2. And we read from verse 5. And there was no man to till the ground. So even though God has made man his own image, yet there was no man to till the ground. Because the first man was a spirit being. And he needed to be in the form. He needed to be in the form. Hallelujah, that he can interact with the physical environment around him. So the first man that God created, he was a spirit being. But in that spirit was both the masculine spirit and the feminine spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you see that the feminine spirit 
It was in the original creation. It was when the spirit was separated. A place in another body. That is when it became a byproduct of the man. Over in God's original creation. Within the man. There was a masculine identity. And there was a feminist identity. That is why it's a male and female creation. So let's go to the prophet's message. God's power to transform. Hey. So now we find out that. Now we find out that many times. It looked like the Bible repeating or saying something. I'll repeat it or say something to what it doesn't say. For instance, in Genesis chapter 1, we, we find out that God created my his own image. In the image of God created he, him, male and female created he, them. And then it goes on, and many things happen upon the earth. And then we come to find out that we come to find out there was no man to tell the story. But we read that God has created man's own image. Oh, thank God for the promise of Malachi 4. Thank God for the revelation of this message of the hour. That has made the Bible a new book. That has brought the understanding to God's word. And so there's, God is not repeating himself. But there was no man to tell the story. Because the first man that God created, he was in the image of God. He was a spirit being. And that is why he could not interact with the first world that was around him. Then we come to find out there was no man to tell the soil. Then God created man out of the dust of the earth. That was a different man. And he breathed the spirit of life into him and he became a living soul. The first man was in the image of God which is spirit. John 4 says, God is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So God is spirit, and the first man that he created was a spirit man. He was in the image and likeness of God. And God created him as a spirit being so that he can have interaction with him. They were in the same dimension. They were in the same nature. They had the same form. So God could fellowship with him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the message souls that are in prison now, the prophet goes on. The first man was made. He was a spirit man. In the image of God. Which God is spirit. St. John 4. You read that scripture. And then we go on the paragraph 4. There was no man to tell the soil. So God then formed man. Out of the dust of the earth. To me. So here was man that God has made. And it was for a reason that he made him as a spirit being first. Hallelujah. Because all the creation was there. And so when he made man, even as a spirit being, in his own likeness, he gave that spirit man dominion he, he gave that spirit man to subdue the earth he gave that man 
authority over all the earth. And so in that nature, in that being, he led the whole creation. He led the creation. Just like we are led by the Spirit of God. Just like the Spirit of God shepherds us. The Spirit be. Hallelujah. In that form, he was in controlled nature. He led animal life. Oh, hallelujah. They follow the direction. They follow that instruction. They knew something was leading there. No, I don't they knew someone was guiding I them. Oh, them. hallelujah. But they were in the fiscal dimension. And yes, something was guiding them. Leading them along from another dimension. And so after some time, the prophet said, when things have happened for a while, then God take the dust of the earth and form the house and place the spirit being into that house and break into that house and man became a living soul. And so now in that physical dimension oh, he could interact with the cow. He could stroke the back of the cow. Oh, he could play with the dog. He could interact of the car. He could the tree. He could go and pluck the mango tree again. Because he was now in the same dimension. But when God brought him into that physical dimension, he was no less man than he was a spirit being. The authority he had when he was that spirit being, when he was placed in the house of clay when he became an embodiment oh he still had that authority and so God brought everything to him we're talking about an infinite God I don't think we have found any man in this world that will be close to the knowledge that Adam had if I tell you to name 10 best now I'm sure you struggle to name 10 best. If I say name 10 fishes in the sea, you struggle to name 10 fishes. If I tell you to name 10 leaves on the earth, you struggle to name 10 leaves. If I say name 10 insects, Oh, you struggle to write them down. But whatsoever they were, that was the depth of knowledge of Adam. All the creatures that we see in this world, he said you become mosquito, that was what he was called. If you call church a fly, that is what you were called. If you call a house fly, that is what it was called. Whatsoever he called them, God said, Amen. And that was the way they have been to today. Talk about Adam. Bringing him into this physical being did not limit his intelligence. Did not make him a diminished person. But the authority and power that he had, when he was that spirit being, he stood as the big today. When God placed him in the house of clay, praise the Lord. Amen. What a person he was. What a being that he was. He still had that authority. He still had that authority. He still had that dominion. He still had everything under him. Because he was the God of this earth. Like the prophet said, and God was the God of the universe. But Adam was God of this earth. He controlled everything. Praise the Lord. And when he came in this flesh, 
Because he has been leading them in that dimension like Abraham. Because he has been hearing his voice. Because he has been hearing his voice. Oh, when he identified himself. When he came in a human body. And he said, where is Sarah your wife? When Abraham saw him. He recognized him. Because that spirit has been talking to him. Because that spirit has been talking to him. And so when he saw him, even though three men came, oh, when one of them spoke, oh, the voice was the same voice he had been So he recognized him. He said, my Lord. He said, my Lord. If that please you, just come in and rest. And so when Adam was also put in that house, yeah, he has been leading the animal life. He has been leading all creation here. But when he came in the house of clay, and he began to speak to them, oh, they didn't recognize him. This was that invisible being. This was that spiritual being that was leading us and talking to us. We begin to see how God in Adam was showing what he was going to do. But that was the image of the first man. Oh, when God became man, it did not diminish his omnipotence. When God became man, oh, he didn't diminish his omnipresence. That is why he could tell Nathaniel, before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, oh, I saw you. So it did not diminish him no. being omnipresent. Where is the law? Amen. It didn't diminish him being omnipresent. How he knew there was a, a, a coat and tied by a tree. How he knew there was a coat tied by a tree. They've tied a donkey by it. A donkey. Was tied to the tree. He wasn't there, but he knew. So God coming in human flesh did not diminish one bit of him so being God. He could speak to the demons. You be cast away. He could speak to the waves. He could speak to the storms. And say, please be still. He was still God. And so when Adam was put in this house of clay, he was still that Adam. He was still that man that God has made in his spiritual image that had authority, that had the power, that had the dominion. Only now he was interacting with the physical elements around him. That was the first man in human form. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He still have dominion. If he wasn't, he wasn't happy where this tree was, he could say tree be planted from here, be planted over there. Oh, I believe Adam walked on water. Because in the garden of Eden, there were rivers there. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And we don't really know where that Adam built bridges. But I believe he went wherever he had to go. And I believe he walked on waters. Because he was the master of everything. Subdued everything. Whatever he, whatever he desired to do. That is what he did. That was that first man. Let's read this quote. From the message, the pillar of fire. Now I believe that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah, I can ask you to have a and and I believe that in the beginning God made my his own image. Yeah, I can And God is a spirit. 
And God made man, spirit man. Then he made him in the dust of the earth. Now I believe that man in the beginning let the animals of the earth like the Holy Spirit ought to be lead, leading the church today. But yet there was no man to tell the son. Hallelujah. He didn't have those five senses of taste, mercy and whatever. But when he put him in that house of clay, he put him in the five senses. Then five senses was not to contact God. They were to contact his earthly home. But in his spirit, that is where he had contact with God. And so when he was a spirit being, oh, he had contact with God. He had fellowship with God. Oh, because they were in the same dimension. But when God God put him in the house of clay and gave him the five senses see, uh, 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 taste, smell, touch, it was to contact the physical elements around him but he still made contact with God because that spirit nature because that spirit being was only living in this house of clay. So by his spirit, he contacts God. In the message, the clarity of sin and the penalty that it caused to read sin from our life. The prophet said in paragraph 51, Let's read from 50. So then he created all his creations. Then after he made it, all the trees come up, to the plants and so forth. What a beautiful setup he had. He loved it. It was beautiful. And he thought that was fine. So he couldn't just leave it in that state. He, he had to leave something with it. So he, he said, let us plural. Make man plural. In our own image. Hallelujah. Make man plural. In our own image. That is the prophet speaking. Because when he made man, he was both female and male. And they created he death. Praise the Lord. What a prophet that we have. Scholars cannot understand his language. Oh, but thanks be to God. The Bible said when Jesus came, they said, where did this man learn his letters? But the scripture said, the common man heard him gladly. And like one, one scholar told Brother Abraham, so the way they try to interpret the Bible, said so they use the high Yiddish language. The high Jewish language. With the high grammar. But Jesus, the common man, heard him gladly. Like somebody trying to speak the Queen's English. And then you hear the pigeon injuries. I remember the first time I went to Nigeria. In 1980. I never understood one word of the pigeon Because English. all I knew in my head was pumped with was the Queen's English. The Nigerian man said, I don't come. And I'm thinking, oh, but he's here. He's here. Why is he saying, I don't come? Because I was taking the don't to be, I don't. So that I want a Nigerian man, I don't come now. And I was thinking the man is here. And I say, uh, he, he hasn't come. That, but that is a common man's language. 
And so you go to everyone on the street, can speak that pidgin English. And he takes the common men to understand God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. So let us make mine our own image. So then, when God made his first man, he was a spirit man. He was something on the order of God. The son of God, the Lord that was the first man then he gave that man jurisdiction to lead all animal life let us make mine our own and when he made mine his own image he gave him jurisdiction hallelujah over all animal life so let us make mine our own image and when he made mine his own image so let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, and over all the earth. He gave him supreme control over his jurisdiction. Just like the Holy Spirit leads the believer to do Go here, do this. Now, if, we, if we were perfect in submission to the Holy Spirit, God will lead us by the Holy Spirit. Just like Adam led the animals of that day. Praise the name of the living God. We're talking about the first man in the image of God. The authority that he had. And God put him in the house of flesh. Did not limit his power. Did not limit his ability. Did not limit the authority that God gave him. When he created him in his image, he transcended. From the spirit to the human being. In the message, the deity of Jesus Christ. Yeah. The Jesus prophet Christ says it also Jesus. in another way. And God in the beginning made his first man. He made him out of spirit. And the spirit is the invisible part of man. That you don't see. The invisible part of man that you don't see. So yes, all the animals were being led by this invisible spirit. Oh, but God wanted Adam to have fellowship. To have interaction with those beings that he was leading. And so, when God put him in the house of God, God brought all creation to him to see how he would name them. I don't know, Adam's head must have been some encyclopedia. Hallelujah. Amen. To be able to name all of these animals <laughs> and say that it's a goat, that's a mountain goat, oh, that is a sheep, that is a mountain sheep, oh, and all the various, hallelujah, whatever they were. Oh, that is a snail. And even the different kinds of snails. Oh, that is a plantain. And even the different kinds of plantain. Oh, this will be a sub-menu. Two, two, the plantain that have only two bites. This will be a pimp. Whatever, look at Adam. Oh, hallelujah. Don't think that man is not intelligent. But the first man was an intelligent being. Oh, Harley, I say he was an intelligent being. He was knowledgeable because he was in the image of God. Amen. Amen. 
invisible man that you don't see. Now God made man in his own image. The prophet says, are you listening to me all right? God made man in his own image. And God the spirit said the Bible and the first man was made had the government over all creation. Just like the Holy Spirit has government over the church today. He led creation. He led the animals. So that was the image of the first man. In the image of God. Exactly just like God was. Spirit man. Complete jurisdiction. Over all of creation. And let them as the spirit of God But the animals were in flesh form. And neither to interact with them. Neither interaction with their leader. And hence God made the dust of the earth. And place man, the spirit man, into the house. And that is what we read in Genesis 2. Let's Genesis read from verse 5. Genesis 2, reading from verse 5. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went out mist from the earth, and, and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. I was just sitting there and thinking how did God fashion the heart? And fashion the liver. And fashion the kidney. And make some big intestines. And make small intestines. And make the stomach. And make the gut. And decided that I need some canines. And I need some bolus. Some that can cut. And and some some that that can grind. Oh, and, and I started thinking about all of those things. I said, my God has to be a wonderful God. God. And today they are still studying the human body. And all the millions of veins. And all the arteries. And how he made the spinal cord. And put the nerves in the spinal cord so that they will be protected. Oh, oh, my. It's some, no wonder David said, no wonder David said, the fool has said in his heart there is no God. Praise the Lord. Amen. But God made us. And no wonder David could say, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. 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 And the Lord God formed man, verse 7, of the dust of the ground, and breathed in his nostrils the bread of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. So somewhere in Eden, in the eastern part of Eden, God planted a garden. And there he put man whom he had formed. Praise the Lord. Amen. In the message, the cruelty of sin and the penalty that it costs. Hallelujah. 
In paragraph 53, the prophet said, okay. so he made them. When he did, he began to move upon the idea. He made them in the spirit being. And when he did, he began to move upon the idea that he had made man out of the dust of the earth. Because there was no man to till the soil. No one to do the work. No fiscal being. So he made man out of the dust of the earth. That is where I think the scientists and Christianity they don't conflict one another no science talks about evolution. That that it was just God creating higher forms of life. But when he has, he has been creating higher forms of life. Well, Because science says that man came from a different life. And we say, look at man here. He is in the image of God. This. This. Is not the image of God. This is That is not the image of God. This is the image of animal life. Hallelujah. Amen. The prior, I don't believe in the chain of evolution the way they do. Or oh, coming from a single cell. But, but I do, but we believe evo, uh, certainly evolute evolution so one here. man from another, but then um, when God made it all, he put my here. Made him out of the dust of the earth. Hallelujah. Not in his own image. He already made the man. Then he breathed into him the breath of life. And he became the living soul. So this physical body with two arms that has got two ears that is not the image of God. The image of God is that spirit being that lives in this house. That is how we contact God. That is how we fellowship with Him. 
That is what has got the six senses. This fiscal being has got the five senses. But the spirit being has got the six senses. By which we contact God. In the message, the pillar of fire. Yes, The prophet said. Now I believe that Jesus Christ the Savior is today, today and forever. I believe that in the beginning God made my his own image. God is a spirit. And God made man a spirit. Then he made him in the dust of the earth. And I believe that man in the beginning that man in the beginning yes, led the animals of the earth led. like the Holy Spirit ought to be leading the church today. There was no man to till the soil so that he put him in five senses. The five senses was not to contact God. How you feel is not to contact God. What you smell is not to contact God. What you touch is not to contact God. Oh, but in our spirit being, that is how we contact God. Hallelujah. Amen. That was see, taste, smell, uh, feel, and hear. They were to contact his earthly home. I'm not looking. But, but by his spirit, he contacts God. So that first man was in the image of God. Spirit, so he could be in contact with him, God. And at the same time, be able to lead the animal life. Like the Holy Ghost leads the child of God today. And then God placed the spirit man into a body of flesh. That have five senses. To be able to contact his earthly home. And all also interact with the rest of creation around him. But in that condition, he was still the God of the earth. I want this to sink into my heart. That when God plays the spirit being, that he has okay. made his own image. That he said that let him have dominion. Let him subdue the earth. Let him control the earth. When he played that spirit being into this house of play, it did not diminish any of those powers God has given him when he was a spirit being. At the Adam named all the animals. Adam Not when he was a spirit being. Like we read in Genesis 2, verse 19. It was when God has placed him in this house of flesh. That was when Adam named all creation. So don't get to a place where you begin the devil make you to accept that because I am in this body of flesh. Oh, I've got my own limitations. That is the lie of the devil. No, I can hear you. But you know, I don't need to be more. When a man is redeemed, when a man is restored, and he's in contact with his God, he's in contact with his Creator. Jesus said, "If thou canst believe, all things, all things, everything is possible." And when Adam was in this world, he Adam, you are the he had all possibilities. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that is what God is taking us back. 
Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Where we begin to catch that revelation. Where we begin to recognize that. That this is what God made me in the first place. And that when he has restored me, he has restored me back to that original. That is what all Easter is about. Hallelujah. When he came and he died, when he shed his blood, when he paid the price of redemption, is to take us back to the original. What Adam was before the fall. That is the picture he wants us to have. Amen. 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 Condemnation by representation. The prophet said, okay. What is the Holy Spirit trying to do today? To cut off all unbelief. That is what the Holy Ghost is trying to do in the life of the believer. To cut away all unbelief. To bring us to that place. To bring us to that era. To bring us to that status. Where we have so much faith. To know that all things are possible. Church, we've got a long way to go. But we have to keep pressing on. We no, have to keep we pressing on. Yeah. We, we have yeah. to keep pressing on. Yeah. Like the woman told Abraham, yeah. 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 I am not what I used yeah. to be. I yeah. ain't yeah. what I have to be. Yeah. But one yeah. yeah. thing yeah. I know, yeah. I am not yeah. yeah. what I used to be. Yeah. It's, it's a journey yeah. that we are pressing yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Keep yeah. pressing on. Keep yeah. pressing on. Keep 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 we're going to hit that climax. And when we hit that climax, we'll be God in the rapture. So keep so pressing on, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. To cut off all unbelief. They shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. What is the Holy Ghost trying to do? To cut off all unbelief. Trying to bring the people back to the unadulterated ways. Where God said like it was in Eden before. Before theology was added. Bring it back the way it was in Eden. When man walked with God. Hallelujah. Amen. What a wonderful time it will be. Amen. And he said, if a tree don't look right, he, man said, be thou plucked up and hard over there. The wind was blowing. Serpents beside and he stopped. Whatever he was, he controlled all the animals. Everything on earth. It was his. He was God over the earth. He had controlling power in him. Oh, and thanks be to God. He has shown us glimpses of that in this our age. He had my heart control over the, 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 the fishes of the ocean. So in this our day, a man born in sin and iniquity. Saved by grace. Washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And the Holy Ghost came to live in him. When he was fishing. And caught that tiny fish. Oh hallelujah. And took out the hook. And brought out all the gills. And that tiny fish was lying in the boat. He got to a point in his spirit. He felt there's going to be resurrection. So there's going to be resurrection. 
Hallelujah. And he turned and he looked at the fish. Remember, Adam was given the authority over every fish of the ocean. So he looked at the fish. And he said, little fish. I give your life back to you. And the fish jumped the fish back. The fish that has been dead no. over 30 minutes. Into the water and went. When he was up on the mountain. Oh, and the storms were coming. And he was thinking I have to run very quickly. And go back to the camp. And while he was running. And going back to the camp. The spirit case said, Where are you? Going? Going? So I'm going back to the camp. Because we know that when the snow fall comes, it's dangerous yeah. on this mountain. So I am the God of the creation. God. Just speak. Where you are? Just say whatever you yeah. want. Yeah. And what did the prophet yeah. say? Yeah. He says, Storm, yeah. wind, yeah. blizzard, yeah. wherever yeah. you are yeah. coming yeah. from. I want you to go back. And for the next couple of days, the sun will shine. And so we have done with our hunting. Until we are done hunting. And what happened? Instantly. 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 Hallelujah. God was showing us what Adam was. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Until when he was mowing the ground and he didn't have his shirt on and was mowing the lawn at the back of the house and forgot that that tree oh, there was a beehive in that tree and the mower goes all the way the mower goes all the way. Hallelujah. And here's the tree. And all of a sudden, all the bees are come. It's the bees. I am sorry. I disturb you. Why don't you go back to your house? The animals obeyed. Just, Just like they, they did obey Adam. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And one day there was this big field that has been fenced. And they had this killer boo. Oh, hallelujah. And he had forgotten. And he needed to reach that house on the other side of the fence. On the other side of the field. And so rather than going round, no, I can never look on it. I will walk across the field. And he was walking across no, the field. And we're in the middle of the field. Oh, then the bull got up. And started shaking. Started digging. And they knew how many times the bull has killed people. The prophet's first instinct. Say was to look for his pistol. But his pistol was not there. He has left it in the car. Then he looked at how far the fence was. Oh, the bull will run here. But he said, there and there, the love of God filled his heart. And here was the bull digging, getting ready, beginning to charge, beginning to charge. And he said, oh, poor animal. I'm the servant of the most high God. I am going to that house to pray for a son and child of God that is not well. I forgot that this was your area. I am so sorry I disturbed you. I didn't intend to disturb you. So please go back and just lie under the tree. I won't disturb you again. The moon comes all the way and just comes. Oh, Adam. Adam. Adam, 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 the first man in the image of God who could subdue every creation. The bull goes back. Yes, one day they are going to hear us. I said they are going to hear us. When we talk to them, they will listen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
the bull went and laid oh. back. That God is still alive today. Until one day he went fishing, hunting rather, and he couldn't get the screw rod that he was looking for. And he said while he was sitting down, he was thinking of the scripture. If you can believe, whatever you say, you will have it. And feel Obama. the presence of the Lord. I say, why are you here? Oh, I say, I'm here, Skura hunting. And it's okay. If you want Skura, just speak. Hallelujah. And you have them. And he look at a tree. A tree that you can never have Skura. I want one day to prove that it was God that was speaking. But God was manifesting to us. God was demonstrating to us what the first Adam was. May you think, oh, this was Jesus. He was born without sin. Maybe you think, oh, this was Jesus. He was born without sin. But God chose a man. A man like you and I. A man that if God has not come on the scene, he would have been a murderer. When he took his gun and told the boys, which one of you want to die first? And when he fired the gun, it didn't fire because the it grace of God. And when all the boys have run away, he threw the gun down. The gun fired. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. We're talking about the first man in the image of God. He had controlling power in him. And when man is restored, when man is redeemed and restored, remember you still have that controlling power in you. It's an undoubted power in you. It just take God. To come and clear the pipelines. Oh, hallelujah. In the message, the fundamental foundation of faith, the prophet said, and what did God put man here for? We could spend so much time on these thoughts, but we won't. We, we just give a basic thought here for the night. Then we'll go pray for the sick. Because perhaps ministers have already spoken and, and so forth. Now when God made man in the beginning, I want you to listen to this. We're talking about the first man in the image of God. When God made man in the beginning, he made him superior to anything on earth. He gave him the jurisdiction of everything on earth. To control everything. He controlled animal life. He controlled the fowl of the air. The fishes of the sea. He controlled the winds. He controlled plant life. He controlled everything. Man was made a secondary god on earth. He was given the power to control all things. All elements of the earth. That was Adam. Adam was given these great powers. Adam could speak to the winds. Wind, wind. And it will stop. He could speak to the trees. And they will obey him. He could speak to the wildlife. And it will obey him. He could speak to the waters. Ever what it was. Everything obeyed Adam. That was the beginning of man. That is what God gave him. Power over everything. Every that was the first man God made. He had supreme authority on this earth. If we are being restored, if we are being restored, 
is taking us back to the original. What we used to be before the fall came. came. And so as we look at the image of God, this was what God is. Hallelujah. A tree, let everything bring up after his kind. Genesis 1.11. That is God's plan of reproduction. And so let everything bring up after his kind. So when he made man his image, man had those things that were in God. Listen to what God said. In the message, God commissioning Moses. A man is a supernatural being. Hallelujah. A man is a supernatural being. Supernatural means you have you have power over nature. You are over nature. He is hungering after God. And if he can't find the real food of God, he will eat anything he can find. And I said, because he is a supernatural being inside of him. I said that is the reason no, he makes automobiles and events. He can almost create because he is made in the image of a creator. Because that is how he was made in the image of a creator. Praise the Lord. Amen. He can take a piece of wood make paper out of it, take a piece of some sap, make an ink out of it, take pieces of metals, make a printing press, and put all of it together, and give you a Bible. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is man. He can take what God has created, and be able to form something himself. Because he was made in the image of God. But the devil comes around and tries to pervert those attributes. Let me read one more quote from the message of the Super Son. Super Son. Brother Abraham said, Brother Abraham said, and I stop and think that about 300 years ago, maybe talking about where the temple, the temple of Ram, the temple was built. 300 years ago, that was a swamp, primitive, alligators, crocodile swamp. But man go in there with machinery, dig out all the far bushes no. and so forth. Take the big blowers, blow the sun up, put the foundation down, build homes. Build homes. Make causeways, roadways, and so forth. Build beautiful structures. What does that? Because inside of him, he is an amateur creator. Let's take him in this whole place. Was it not a place where people were coming to smoke their own weed? And a refuse damn place? And until when it was bought, oh, But look at man. How he took all the rubbish away. Compacted all the soil around here. And begin to build because in man is that attribute of the creation. Because he is made in the image of God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Build beautiful structures. What does that? Because inside of him, he is an amateur creator. 
He cannot create, but he can take something that already has been created and almost make another creation out of it. His intelligence, his intellect. Amen. Amen. And I'll read one more quote from the, fundam the fundamental foundation of faith, for faith. The fundamental foundation of faith, the prophet says, Amen. We've got 10 more minutes. So then, if you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask what you will and it will be given to you. Isn't that simple? Faith created. We was made for that purpose. Then through the fall, why we were taken away from that and then in redemption oh that is what Easter is all about in redemption we was brought back to it again. and the only thing to hinder the human race today from being superior and controlling like they did in the beginning is because the power lines of the outlet of God. That God made in the human being, they have been clogged. But if those power lines are cleansed. If we get the supernatural plumber, oh, hallelujah, he can dislodge every clog in the pipeline. Oh, and the power of the Holy Ghost begins to flow through the pipeline. When the telephone line is restored, a few weeks back, we are still experiencing it. When they cut the fiber lines under the ocean, now everybody knows that there are fiber lines under the ocean. Hallelujah. Amen. God's own is not under the ocean. It's a supernatural line. Our prayer is that the Lord just make it. It takes the blood of Calvary. Calvary la, hallelujah. To clean that pipeline. That power can flow back okay. again. Yes, that is the God that we serve. That is the first man in the image okay. of God. He was a superior being. And that is what God is placing before us. That is what God is placing before me. That is what God is placing before, is placing before you. Hallelujah. Amen. That that is what we ought to be. Okay. That is what we want to be. You know what to God help us all to strive you. to be like that. Shall we stand to our feet? Oh, thou spirit divine. Oh, my nature
Lord, I want to be like you. Lord, all my nature refined. Lord, take me through the purifying fire. Oh, Lord, purge me. Take every dross, false nature out of me. Until my being become a reflection of you. So all my nature refines. Lord, take away that double tongue. Lord, take away that temper. Lord, take away that arrogance. Lord, take away that pride. Lord, take away anything in me that is not your nature. Refine my nature today. So I am in your very Shall we all talk to the Lord in prayer?
wise blood will cry in our hearts. Heavenly Father, to be like you, Lord. Oh, want to lift you up high above all creatures because Lord you deserve it dear Lord we thank you so much for a day like this Lord a memorial of the day you laid your life down for us who are nothing who are not worthy but Lord you chose us you selected us and you died for us Lord we want to live a life worthy of the gospel so that we will be like you. We want to be in your image. Father, may you help us. Dear Lord, we thank you for the things you are reminding us of. How needful it is to yearn and strive to be in the image of God. Lord, may you help us. For this flesh has filled us, Lord. But we need to move higher in the spirit. May you anoint us with your good will. Lord, may we love one another. May the Spirit of God continually, Lord, bind us together. That Lord will be in that image that you wanted Adam to be before the fall. That Lord, you could help him and you could give him that anointing to name everything that you have created, Lord, and you okayed it, Lord. That is the image we want to be in. May you help us, Lord. We thank you so much for your word that has come to us to remind us of the things that we ought to do. 
to remind us of the position we need to take that Lord our deeds will be worthy of the gospel father we thank you for your word that came forth we thank you for the vessel that you used dear Lord we pray that you replenish him of every virtue that has gone out of him replenish the interpreter as well father Lord may you renew the spirit of your servant Lord that Lord tomorrow Lord when we come oh father you will take him to higher heights and Lord we will all be beneficiaries thereof we are grateful for the brethren that made the time to come yes, father we believe their coming has not been in vain may you meet each and every one at the point of their need we still pray for the sick and the afflicted unto yes, you Lord. father may your healing, healing virtue reach out to them touch each and every one may no one leave these gates the oh, same yes, father Lord. dear lord there might be some who would have loved to come Jesus. but we're not able to make it tomorrow our prayer is that father May you quicken them and bring them here. Dear Lord, as we leave your presence, may your presence go with us, Amen. Lord. May you continue to help us in all Amen. our ways and grant us transport mercies to our homes safely. Dear Lord, we commit the night unto you. May your angels encamp around us, Lord. Grant us the soundness of sleep, Father. That, Lord, we will continue to pray and continue to ponder over these things, Lord. That, Lord, we will continually strive to be in your image. Thank you so much for the glorious visitation that you have granted us this afternoon. May your grace go with us, Lord. May it be thy will, Father. When we gather tomorrow again, we will give glory and honor unto you. We thank you so much for how far you have brought us. May you go with us, Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.